guys, it's Riley or Riley Thrifted over on Instagram and Poshmark and today I'm here with a buy sell trade store haul. So first, if you don't know who I am, I am a full-time reseller over on Poshmark, meaning I make my income reselling secondhand items on Poshmark. But if you're here, likely you know what a reseller is. So one way I get inventory is by taking items I can't sell for whatever reason to Buffalo Exchange and Crossroads. If you don't know what these stores are, they are like Plato's Closet, but higher end. Um, Plato's Closets are kind of everywhere, but I think Buffalo Exchange and Crossroads are really only in cities. I live in the Chicago suburbs, so I do have to drive into the city of Chicago to go to these stores, which is inconvenient, but worth it. So just like Plato's Closet, you take them in a bin of stuff, they go through it and they offer you money <laughs> and they give you a cash offer, but they also, unlike the Plato's Closets around me, they also do an in-store credit offer, which is more. So uh, but both Buffalo Exchange and Crossroads are 50% in-store credit of what they price the item at. Meaning if they price it at $18, I get $9 of in-store credit at Crossroads. It's 30% cash of what they price the item at and Buffalo Exchange is 25% cash. So I always take the in-store credit because I can find great inventory and it brings down my cost of goods. At one point it was at zero. So I was bringing in so much stuff and getting so much credit back that my cost of goods per item was zero. But then I kind of messed up in the spring and bought bad inventory to take to them and messed up. So my uh, cost of goods is no longer zero, but I'm working on getting it back down to zero. So that is a long winded explanation of how I use these stores as a reseller. Obviously you can take cash as well. This is just what I do. Today I have a haul to share for you. I'm currently filming this in the new year, but you're likely seeing this later because I want to give these items a couple months, at least a couple weeks to sell. And hopefully there's a sold comp of a few of these things up as I'm showing you. I went to three different stores in December and that is when I picked up this stuff. So my cost of goods is different for a few of the items. So I will share what my cost of goods are as we start. And let's just get into it. So the first items I'm going to be sharing with you today are items I got from a Buffalo Exchange I'd never been to before. Um, usually I go to one, the ones in Wicker Park. Yeah, if you know where that is, if you're familiar with Chicago. Because Crossroads and Buffalo Exchange are right across the street from each other. So I start out at Crossroads and walk across the street afterwards to Buffalo Exchange just because I prefer Crossroads and would rather have my credit there first. But they both take different things, so I'm always getting credit from both of them to shop at. But this day I went to the Buffalo Exchange in Andersonville, which I had never been to before, but my sister had. And I think I liked it a little bit more than the one in Wicker Park, but prices and stuff they bring in was really comparable. So let's start out with my few finds from there. I guess I'm just going to start out with the things I'm like most excited to list. So um, the this day I think I paid a little over 13 per item with my in-store credit but I left the tags on there so I can tell you what they originally priced each, each item at. So the first two items I got are from the same brand but I think they're from different people and I was just lucky um, that they were both there. It is from the brand Ivy City Co and this is a Utah brand potentially a Mormon mom brand I don't know for sure. I found this brand one time new with tags at Goodwill and sold it for $30. I almost passed on it because it felt like cheapy boutique -y to me but these pieces I like saw them and I was like I'm pretty sure I've sold this brand before and it had a following even like these look more high quality but for the one I found I was like oh let me scoot to the side just in case there's a comp. So I found mm, this one first I think and I was like oh my gosh so beautiful and I was like wait I think I've sold that brand before and then I, would, I checked my closet and I remember I did I sold it for $30 new with tags but it was a very different style than this dress and the one I'm about to show you such beautiful embroidery um so this is Nua tags they had it priced at 25 dollars i might have paid that because when i was checking comps on this brand a lot of these are going for over a hundred dollars so i think it's going to depend on the style the style you find and i didn't do 
specific comps for this dress, but I just figured <laughs> that it was embroidered, beautiful dress. Uh, great for going into spring. I know we're in winter right now, but I'm already thinking grabbing stuff for spring. Wedding season, Easter, this is a great dress. So if you're gonna pay $25 for this dress, I would recommend looking up the exact style and making sure it was worth it. Um, Cause some of them weren't going for over a hundred dollars. Um, some of them, as I sold, I sold one in, as I said, I sold one in the past for thirty dollars. But a lot of them were selling in the upper eighties and above. So I didn't check comps on this specific one mainly because it's really hard to check comps in these stores in Chicago just because they're small. Wi-Fi receptions, like cell receptions, not always great. And for thirteen dollars, I'm pretty sure I can make a pretty good profit on this. Now. That day, again, for around $13 to $14. I know it's under $14, but $13. Oh, this one's new tags too. I found another Ivy City Co. dress, new with tags. And the reason I think these are from different people is because they're priced different and they were brought in on different days. Um, this says December 19th, 2023, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, that was the day we went. So this is potentially brought in the day we went. And the other one said... November 17th, 2023. So, might have been there for a while. So, I don't think these are brought in by the same person, or maybe they went back twice and they brought it in. But oh my gosh, this one is amazing. Like, they're just so, I don't even know, definitely special occasion dresses. This is like very princessy, tea party. I'm gonna tag it, like, put all those keywords in there. Uh, again, I did not track comps on the exact one. I feel like this one will go for less than the embroidered one just because embroidery, but this one is all ruffled and lace. So I'm really excited about these. Again, they had a price of 25 and 28, but with the accumulation of my credit, I spent 14. And if you're wondering how I do that, what I do is I keep track of the cost of all the items I'm bringing them. So say I went to the bins and I spent $10 on everything I'm bringing them and they buy $100 worth of stuff for me, I get $100, like I get $100 in credit. Then what I do is I buy stuff that day, say I buy 10 things and divide it by the $10 I spent. That means I spent $1 per item. But as I said, I messed up my inventory. I brought them bad inventory in the spring, which I spent money on. It was a lot of Shein stuff. And at that time they stopped taking Shein. They used to take Shein, but then I had all this Shein that I spent money on and it wasn't from the bins. I got it from Helpsy Source, which it was still cheap but I'm slowly fixing that. So that is how I get my cost of goods. The next thing I found are these pair of docks and they had these priced at $50 and these are actually priced low. Usually they price their docks at at least 60 or more. And even spending, even though I had credit spending $50 on something is a lot. So I did check comps on these and I figured they might be a harder sell because they're orange, but they looked like they were selling over like, I want to say like 90 to uh, a little over a hundred, depending. There was not a pair in this size listed. And so I grabbed them. And then when I got home, I realized the condition was not as good as I thought. So when I was there, I realized they had some dirt right there and I was like, no big deal. But then I saw when I got home, there's like a little, it's not like a hole, but just a flaw in the fabric right here. So it's a little bit of a bummer. I'm probably gonna get a little less for them. I feel like I might sit on these just because orange, I feel like is a harder sell than plain black or some of the other colors. They are made in England though. And so I think the vintage ones are made in England and also like special lines. So as you can see, it says made in England. So if you have a pair of docks made in England, I would definitely do some research because they could be worth more. Again, with the flaws, I'm gonna have to price lower. So I'm hoping for $90, I hope. Um, again, I, did, I didn't spend 50, I spent like 13 something. So 13 into 90 is still a good profit, but I did, you know, spend $50 of credit that I could have used on other things. So let's hope. The last two items from this new Andersonville Buffalo Exchange location are from the same brand. I actually went through the men's stuff and I don't normally go through the men's stuff, but this day I went through because they were going through my stuff and I kind of wanted to see what they were taking in men's was in the front. So I was like, okay, I'll go through the men's stuff while they're going through my stuff and I can kind of, I could have stood, they're very 
welcoming the ones I go to. They're like, you can stand at the counter and see what we're taking. But I just feel a little awkward doing that. So I like to kind of like shop and also watch them and be like, okay, they, they're taking these, but they're not taking these. This location had actually taken a lot of the stuff the other two locations I frequently go to had rejected. So that was great. Every location's different and every buyer is different. So just take your stuff back three, four times. And honestly, if it gets rejected from all the locations in your rotation about four times, then that's when I would donate or sell yourself something. Anyway, so this is from a brand I'd never heard of. Let me see if one's... Okay, this tags a little, meh. This one's probably a little bit easier to show. It's from the brand Outer Known. And I could just tell when I saw these that this was a high quality brand. I'll show you the other tag. This stitching is just a little darker, so it's probably easier to see. Here is the other one, Outer Known. And you know what's so funny? If you guys watched Denali Alducho, I was watching one of her recent videos of going through her brother's stuff. He had an Outer Known piece in his wardrobe that she would be selling for him and I was like oh my gosh I just found that brand so I could just tell these were quality pieces and they were right next to each other obviously came in from the same person and they had this one priced at $30 and I was like oh $30 so much to spend on one piece but I was checking comps and minimum $60 on these shirts used and again I was spending my credit and so I would easily pay $13 cash to sell something for $60. And it looks like it's a sought after brand. I'm excited to try this out. So this one was 30 and this one is new with tags. This one's more of a softer material. So on the new with tags, it's $138. And it looks like I can probably get close to $100 for new with tag one. I'll show you the brand one more time. Definitely a men's bolo brand. I actually have sold a few men's pieces recently. Um, I like selling men's. I mean, it's a little more boring than selling a beautiful embroidered dress. But when I come across them, like I usually don't go to the men's section, but if I find a good piece on a new rack or like this day when I was spying on the buyer and flipping through, I will totally buy good men's items or even okay men's items. Now we're gonna get to my favorite location, Crossroads in Wicker Park. I just, the one I've been to, actually, there's another crossroads in Evanston. I haven't been to that one in like two years. I need to go over there. <laughs> this is all the Chicago neighborhoods, if you're familiar. Um, so I go to the one in Wicker Park. Every time I go, I always get at least $100 minimum store credit. Usually it's like around two to $300, which is great. So this day was no different. I got like 200 something store credit and then I bought stuff and I had credit accumulated as well. So my cost of goods this day for things was um like $12.75 or something per item including tax and Chicago tax is 10% which kills me I mean in the suburbs it's like 8.5% which isn't great but just 10% tax okay so the first item I got were these Tory Burch flats they had these priced at $28 originally but they were half off oops they were half off and half off at Crossroads is 50% off. So these were $14, which is still a little high to pay for Tory Burch. Like these are definitely an older style, but I figured I could at least get $40 for these um, because I mean, people are always just looking for the big Tory logo. They're in good condition. Like the bottoms have some wear, but I was pretty happy with these. I would not have picked them up for $28. Even if I was spending my store credit, I like to find things that's half off because obviously I'm saving more money in store credit than to spend on other things. So these are the first pickup. I don't think they'll be an amazing sale, but I do expect them to sell for around $40. Another item I grabbed because it was half off and I think it was actually a little more expensive than I thought it was. They had these Reformation jeans priced at $32.50. So I spent a little over $16 on them. They are just like a button fly. I think they're a straight leg, not a skinny. Uh, maybe they're a skinny, but they have a seam detail on the back leg. Hopefully that's intentional. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I've bought stuff there on accident without realizing it was hemmed, which has been a bummer. I have a pair of ammo jeans. They're size 27. They're the French skinny. So they are a skinny jean. I did pay $16 for them. Honestly, Reformation jeans don't do as well as the dresses. Like it's probably one of the lower selling categories, but I've had luck with Reformation jeans. They're a nice light wash. Is that dirt? 
no, it's just lighting. Um, so coming into spring, I feel like these will be a good spring jean. Um, am I gonna make a bunch of money? No, should I have bought them? Maybe not, but again, it's hard to check comps and I just saw the half off sticker and I was like half off reformation jeans. Okay, I'll take them. Hopefully another like $40 sale, which do I want to turn like $12 into $40? No, I'd rather turn $12 into $60, but I'm always happy to add reformation in my closet. This is a huge Bolo brand. I've only found it one time before I found it, well, I've only thrifted it one time before. I got super lucky, found it new with tags at a Salvation Army for $20. And I recently found one at Last Chance and I paid like $8 for that. So maybe actually more like $12 for that one. Anyway, the brand is Self Portrait. Now I will say, I feel like it's not quite as big of a bolo as it was three years ago. Like three years ago, you could get so like so much money for it. Um, but I did find this self portrait dress. I went a little bit before Christmas, so they actually had this in like their holiday New Year's section. So I was excited. I checked comps because they had it priced at forty two fifty. So this crossroads, and I'm assuming similar locations, price like high end brands oftentimes are at $42.50. Like Reformation gets priced at $42.50, especially if it's like a midi or maxi dress, like if they have a Max Mara piece, anything like that. If it's kind of like Zara dress, it's like $24. Sometimes the dresses will be like a short Reformation dress will be like $32. The pricing is very predictable, unlike Buffalo Exchange, where I would not be surprised to find a self-portrait dress for $25, but they would also price the exact same dress if they came in a week later at 75. Their pricing is much more like Plato's Closet. <laughs> um, honestly, the one I go to reminds me of Plato's Closet, just more expensive, but they pay me more, so. Anyway, um, there were some of these listed and some sold. I think I'm gonna sit on it for a while cause it's a ruffle star print kind of funky dress, but it's self portrait and I paid $12 for it. Oof, not a good look. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping to get $60 or more for this dress. It probably retailed close to 300. Oh, I actually grabbed these for myself and I'm now realizing, realizing they're snagged, which I feel like happened in my bag. I don't think that was in store. Anyway, so I was going through the athletic section, which I don't normally do. And literally 99% of the athletic section was Lululemon. I can't remember. Maybe I saw like one outdoor voices piece maybe but it was all at lululemon which is good to know so i don't bring them in any other athletic brands if they're only buying lululemon like just save the space in my bag don't buy it anyway i found these lululemon leggings size six they had them priced at 24 dollars, but they were half off and i was like 12 dollars for a lululemon piece i could probably make profit on that and i didn't look up the exact style i could have i just did it i'm not the best with doing comps uh however then i realized while i was in store i did not purchase them without knowing that they had a mark on them and i mean they are white leggings and then there's some marking a little bit on the waistband and that snag that i just saw so here lululemon price at 24 half off meaning they're 12 but they're my size and i do yoga like five days a week so i was like I'll wear them. <laughs> I'll grab them for myself. And I also found myself a new pair of Asics, which are they Asics? Maybe they're Brooks. I don't know. I found myself a new pair of running shoes, which is great because I've been using my same ones since like 2016, which is not good for your feet. But in my defense, I stopped running. I just used them as general gym shoes. And I usually do like the elliptical. So in my head, I'm like, eh, I'm not not using the tread on them whatever I got, my mom's been on me and I knew I had to get new ones I just didn't I was like I knew I'd thrift a pair eventually so I finally found a beautiful pair at Crossroads they're like $28 or something and I used my credit for myself just like these Lululemon ladies and honestly if these look terrible on me I'll just sell them I just won't expect you know a great profit since they have a little bit of staining <sighs> so those are my purchases for myself I honestly, I don't usually buy myself stuff at buy, sell, trade stores just because it is priced a little like higher than thrift stores. And I'm and always in my head like, I can thrift it, I can thrift it. But I splurged on myself this day. These also came from Crossroads and they're more Lululemon. I basically just picked up any of the 
good pieces of Lululemon. I think I just picked up all their half off Lululemon. Um, I actually, I didn't go through the men's section. I should have knowing that men's Lululemon does well. Here's the logo. I don't think these are men's. They are a size eight women's jogger. And honestly, I just listed a pair that look like this that didn't have the best resale value. They're selling for like $40. So these are half off of 28, $14 of credit. I paid under $13. Honestly, probably not my best pickup, but they went through my stuff really fast this day. And whenever I go with my sister, she wants to get out of there as fast as possible for whatever reason. So that's how I'm justifying my bad buys. And the last item from this Crossroads is another Lululemon piece. And they have this priced at $22.50. It is a Lululemon skirt. And I did not check comps on this skirt. I know I should have checked comps on all the Lululemon stuff, especially because this is $22.50, not half off. And again, I only paid $12, whatever, but I'm using my credit. There's a logo. Um, I just know that Lululemon skirts do well. I was looking for a size dot, but these all have the pull tag still in them. This might be another like $40 sale, but I just, I know Lululemon skirts sell fast usually, and this is a newer style, so I figured quick cash. And I like having that stuff in my closet. Okay, so now I'm looking at my Crossroads stuff and realizing I didn't buy the best things at Crossroads, but stuff will still make me money. Now we're moving on to the last Buffalo Exchange I went to, which is the one across the street from Crossroads. I don't love this location. I take 50% trading credit there. They price things really high in their sale when it's like marked like with a sales sticker, like how Crossroads does it. There's just only like 25% off and not 50% off. So it's just not my favorite location, but I still find good stuff there and they still buy stuff from me and I take the trading credit. So I need to buy stuff there so I can make money. So the first thing I'm showing you from this location is a brand I've never actually sold before. I think I've passed on it a lot because I didn't realize it was a good brand. And then I heard someone talking about it in a YouTube video and I was like, oh yeah, I remember hearing that in the past and it leaving my mind that this is a good brand. It is Comfy USA. So I actually did pick up a few of these at, <laughs> at Goodwill um, that I have not yet listed. So I think this is like my third piece and this one is Nua Tags, Comfy USA. And I do believe they have a different tag. Doesn't it just look very unassuming? So I've never sold this brand. I'm pretty sure I've probably passed it a billion times. This one was Nua Tags. The main reason I grabbed it is it was new tags and it's $15. Again, I spent under $13 on these pieces. It is a sleeveless, like, it's got like wrinkled fabric. I'm pretty sure intentionally. Tiered hem dress. Honestly, I don't know what comps are. <laughs> don't, gosh, I am coming off really bad. This is like a leg and look brand that I have no experience selling, but I decided to pay up for a new tags piece. So hopefully this does well. I would think this would sell more around spring, summer. Then I grabbed this piece because it was on sale. So it would have been 25% off, not 50% off. Wait, this was from Crossroads. Okay, never mind. This was 50% off. For some reason, I thought this came from Buffalo Exchange. So it is a Lily Pulitzer dress that they had priced at 28. So it was $14, which some Lily Pulitzer is totally worth $14. This one, I I wouldn't pay $14 at a Goodwill, but I was spending my credit. So, well, I guess I didn't, I spent like 12, whatever. Honestly, I'd probably pick this up for eight at the most, but I have to spend my credit to make money. So their bright prints do better. This is more of like a, I don't even know. Like these ones sell just not as much as the fun bright print ones. I'm hoping to get about $40 on this one. Two more items. I'm gonna save the best for last, um, at least of these two. So this is an anthropology piece. It is from the Odals, which I have come across a few times at Buffalo Exchange, but I've always left it because comps have been all over the price and they usually have a priced high. This one is new with tags. Here is that, if that, you can see it a little bit better. It is the Talara dress. 
originally $194. They had it priced at $14. I think they messed that up somehow. Like they would normally have this priced at like $40. Maybe someone meant to hit $40 and hit $14 on accident. So I grabbed it again because even though I'm spending credit, you know, if I get two $14 things or $128 thing, you know, makes sense. Anyway, uh, also I grabbed this because it's a 1X. And this will be a good summer vacation dress. It is a maxi like cutout dress. I did check comps on this piece on Poshmark just because since I checked comps on this brand in the past and knew it's not always worth paying up for. But there is a couple of these listed over $100. So I'm going to hope to get a little under $100 with my new tags sold this spring summer. And the last piece is a brand I'm pretty sure I've passed on before. Uh, just because it looks so unassuming, not even unassuming, it looks cheap. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. And I saw it in someone's haul and they were talking about how expensive and what, how well it sells. And then I found it and they had a price at $45, which I got a pair of docks for $50. But anyway, it is the brand Risa. So doesn't this look so cheap? Like it's thin, it feels cheap. I can't believe this has such a good resale value. This one is new with tags. And this specific dress I saw sold comp for recently, like right around $100. So I'm hoping I can get right around $100 for this cheap feeling black maxi dress. Like, I can't believe it. If I had not seen that YouTube video, I totally would have just skipped right by this thinking, why the heck do they have this priced at $40? It's giving me goosebumps. Like I have like definitely have like sensory issues with certain fabrics and cheap fabrics especially give me goosebumps. I can't with that. That's, it feels like a Shein dress. Hoping close to $100 for this piece. And that is definitely one of my better pieces of the day. Even though it's priced at 45, I spent, as I said, under $13, like $12.75 on it. So guys, that is today's Buffalo Exchange Crossroads haul. I do have to go and sell stuff soon. I'm trying to get rid of like all the winter stuff because they only buy items in season, like for the most part, because they have limited space, especially being in Chicago. I have winter items still that I need to take them and they told me they're gonna start buying for spring in February, which I have a lot of summer items I've been stocking up. So anyway, that being said, there should be another buy, sell, trade store video in the next month or two. Again, I like to give the items a chance to sell. So these I need to get listed in the next week or so. If you guys like Crossroads Buffalo Exchange videos, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave comments down below and I will see you guys in another video soon. Goodbye.